there's definitely more emphasis on the vision and it's a much more long-term thing. So students now are not just going on the trip as an isolated um, experience, they're integrated into the charity for the whole year. So they're learning about the developing world and they're more committed to it. Tony Coote has had a massive impact for so many people here in Ireland and overseas. I feel very lucky to have had an opportunity to travel to India with Tony in 2004 along with 32 other volunteers just when UCDVO was being established as a registered charity. Seeing the impact which Tony has had on so many people's lives um, has been really uh, inspiring and rewarding um, and to be able to have continued uh, some of that work when I took on the role as manager of UCD VO in 2009 when Tony moved on from UCD um, has been a great privilege. Um, since UCD VO was established in 2003 there's been over 1600 volunteer placements to seven countries around the world. Um, and the impact for the partners, for the volunteers and for the communities has been really transformative. It was such a privilege to have known Tony. I mean, I could be offering compliments and plaudits all evening, but really it boiled down to the fact that he was you know, an exceptional person. Uh, and a priest, which we tended to forget about quite a lot. But above all, uh, I think I would say Tony was an inspiration. Tony was first and foremost a great friend to me. Um, I first met him in 2001. We were friends, we were colleagues. We went away together the first year of UCDVO and he's taught me so many lessons, way too many to name in a short video. I'll miss him loads. Thanks, Tony. Dear Tony, hi from New Delhi, India. We will miss you, your smile and your positive attitude. It will, your vision and your dynamism make made Delhi what it is today. The Delhi center with its children having a safe space is a tribute to you. Thank you, Tony. Met up because of your CDVO. Because of your CDVO. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Tony had an extraordinary way of encouraging you to use your talents to the full, even in ways that you perhaps never imagined yourself. Take your charity law out of the classroom and bring it into the boardroom was the challenge that he laid down before me in 2008 when he invited me to join the board of UCDVO. A roller coaster of six, seven amazing years followed, challenging, a time of growth for UCDVO and a very exciting time. I owe this to Tony and all of my subsequent onboard experience in other organisations has flown from Tony's encouragement. The strongest memory is uh, his ability to motivate. Tony didn't engage in uh, arm twisting, he just told you you were doing it basically. I well remember returning from a, an information uh, lunchtime meeting for staff uh, with regard to possibly project leading in uh, for one of the projects uh, the following summer. And by the time I got back to the office, the word had spread that Roz was going to be uh, leading one of the projects or involved in one of the projects the following summer. Um, I do remember um, um, at that meeting expressing great interest. <laughs> Didn't remember saying yes, but how could I say no when he'd already told everybody I'd said yes? And from there, um, I cannot say I regret it even one second of it. Mm -hmm.